Lights are out and away we go. And I think Scott's got a very good start. Neon though did as well. Are they all going to go through turn one unscathed? And it looks like it. Corsi, I think the Ferrari a little bit off. Corsi, I think the Ferrari a little bit off track. A little bit of a collision between Scotty and uh, Luke Smith. But it doesn't look like any harm was done. And that would be impressive if Luke Smith can just get it past Scotty. Neon's already up. having on Luke Smith. That is exactly what he needed. It's almost out of the DRS already in that one. And that he's going to compromise his exit speed. Maybe even lose out here to the Alpine. No, to the, yes, he has lost out to Verdex. Oh, he can't make a mistake at this level, can you? But now, is he going to try it now again? A little bit of a dive bomb on Verdex. Well, not really a dive bomb, but oh, he goes onto that sausage curve and spins his car around. That is not how he would have liked his race. Uh, to go. So they will definitely need some time to cool down. And that is not how you do it, Luca. He's wrestling the car around to keep it under control. But there's still some battling going on ahead. The gap's very, very tight with Harlem and Thomas Jensen right here. Thomas Jensen a little bit oh, fuss on the outside, having none of it, squeezing Harlem back. And this is looking like another one of those Silverstone thrashes right here. And it hasn't happened. They both, well, took some care. It's getting ever closer to the pack ahead. Oh, I that is, that is Wedge Neon getting all yeah. out of shape. He's in AI mode. Uh, I think he... I think between the El Wars between there wasn't between the Alpine anyway. We have Luca boxing. Luca's retired from the session in the pit lane as we see Thomas Jemson and Harlem now, seventh and eighth, battling it out. Yeah, it's incredible to see a driver so. just just like that, uh, just because your tires were shredded or something in lap two uh, when there's still a safety car potentially to come. Um, you know my opinion on this. It's not the most positive, but what is pretty positive is that the top four. Oh have been able to stay in touch with each other and within DRS of each other. Richie making a run. Uh, so has Harlem on Thomas Jensen. Yeah, Richie making a run. And the outside Ooh, there of the Scotty. Outside. Ooh, oh, and that's Scotty a little, gives him a little bit of a push. Oh, and he's oh. losing the car now, and he goes into the, well, almost into the wall. And uh, yeah, that's him down to P9 at this stage but if, if Luke uh, doesn't get on with this he's got Mr. Championship leader Richie behind him so he's now finding himself in the middle of a McLaren sandwich ah oh, that's a great defending by Neon just that's it yeah. he's got the speed Luke going past had to compromise his entry though uh, well, to Verdex is off is... Verdex oh, is spun Verdex. yeah it looks oh, like that Adacops, is the typical spot to do it yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, unfortunately, I can't show telemetry yeah. because that's going to give me Neon making it run, too. A Neon making it run. And stuff like that. Neon's yeah. got past Luke Smith. Sorry to cut you off on that one. Neon's regained oh, the lead of this that. race. We saw it. We yeah. saw it. Sorry, Nothing $1 missed. Million punishment for uh, retiring from the race, anyway. If Luke Smith is oh, back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> side by side with Neon. And he's still on the outside trying to pull it through. Won't be enough, but he's going to cut back. Get a little bit early on the throttle. He didn't get all. He's trying to keep it all together and uh, not feel the pressure. And Luke Smith is just absolutely sniffing those wicked exhaust gases on <laughs> Neon's car there. But the exit is still good enough. Goes to the outside. A little bit over the grass. That was an amazing move there. But Neon still there. Trying to go onto the throttle earlier once again. He's going to go for a lunge. No, he is not. He's just going to Obviously, Rich is going to be a lot quicker. Or is he going to allow Neon... To just use as much of those tires. We know that Rich is going to go a lot deeper in this race. Neon with the overspeed. And Ace is going to follow through. And he's not quite got the overspeed. But Neon compromised a little bit on the exit. Is that going to allow Ace to come through? Yes, it is. But that's because Neon has actually successfully executed the undercut. But here we go. Ace with the absolute overspeed. The absolute exit out of Chapel. A little bit of a nudge to Luke Smith as well. And he has passed that. Hold off on. the Alpine, but there it is right there. He's got the call from the team and he's boxing. Yeah, that's very late after nine laps. These Time tires. Or is Richie, lap. well, if he boxes, Luke knows he boxes. So, yeah, I, I mean, the tires are getting up around 40, 42% front left for these guys. So, you know, when they get close to those 50s is when really the threshold is to start visiting Jeff. The tires aren't going to be as fresh as what these guys will be on the softs. However, he's going to have a nice... 
And here's an overtake, I think, from Luke Smith right now. That there now, Luke says he wants to be ahead. He wants to break the wind. Does that mean now that allows Richie to have that opportunity of boxing or not? Or will we see Luke doing some dummies? And this is now going to be the absolute crucial part of the race. You can see, let's keep with uh, Ace. We never really do it. Through the pits. Inspected his pit stop. Yeah. If all's going well. Neon How much time has Neon gained? Quite a bit, actually. Let's have a look. Is that three seconds? 3.5? Yes, That's it is. Three and a half seconds. Yes. That is exactly as predicted. Three and a half seconds. Yes, I have shares in Amazon as well. However, in the real life, they're brilliant. Uh, the team Salamis should I use, my friend, is damn accurate. Oh, that's Neon. to death. That is with Alex it's Albon. Alan. At, uh, yeah, at, what's that? Cops gone. Mm -hmm. Stay out. The gap between the two was coming down just a bit. It's not rapidly. I think he also knows Richie's got a little bit of a comfortable lead in the championship, so he could probably afford to risk battling it out. And, uh, you know, what's Neon's race to win? Why, why is he going to give it up to his teammate so easy as Luke's coming out now? Oh, the pits. Nice, quick Red Bull pit stop. In and out. On it. And that is Richie already passed. And Luke Smith can only go now. And you, can, you can't even see him back there. Well, you could just about make him out. Zach Brown must be absolutely nervous right now, isn't it? The worst case scenario could be both of his cars out. That's that would what, be absolutely yeah. worst case for him, indeed. Yeah, through. Richie is giving everything. That's allowed Luke to catch this battle. Look how quickly Luke's caught him. And there is Ace on the outside getting past. Uh, oh, he's well. not doing him the best of jobs Whoa. because Luke Smith is now coming through as well. Oh. Look at this! They are not gonna go three wide through cops, are they? Yes, this they will. Incredible! <laughs> Smith on the inside gets squeezed a little bit by Ace. He has are to they? track yes, this. Yes, they will. Incredible! <laughs> Smith on the inside gets squeezed a little bit by Ace. He has to track extend as well. It's a tire bang in between the Red Bull and the McLaren. Oh, and that is the McLaren up, up into the wall, and that is surely gonna be a little bit. And we have a huge battle going on behind all of them. He's gonna go for a move. Yes, he is gonna go for a little oh. bit of a dive, and that's him round going into the wall almost. If, if, if you never know, but uh, if Thomas gets past oh. the camper right here, he is on the podium. That is a fact, and that is some tough battling between the two, the Alpine and the Williams. Let's go on board with the Williams for a bit. He's looking Five like second a... for speeding as well. The frustration. What he's gonna go on if he's just gonna go in. On some fresh softs, he is. Uh, I'm trying to get the fastest lap for sure. Like, take a little bit of the Mickey out of IndyCar, but if you actually watch one of the races, it's not too bad. And Thomas getting the overtake done on this now. Penalty as well. Yeah. Three seconds, and Thomas Jensen going for that move right now. But of course, remember, he needs to pull away three seconds. And... Yeah, and that's one thing at the end of the day. You lose a championship by a couple of points. That's one. one. Oh, Hallam's now coming back. He is on Thomas. And well, Harlem doesn't have to, but I think he just wants to do it on track for glory because of those penalties. Every driver wants to do that. <laughs> and he do it around the field. Now, not quite, but he's not getting the better exit. His ERS looking pretty good, but both of them looking pretty good. And now it is going into Cops Corner, both of them side by side, and nobody's going to stick back. They make some between them. Uh, they can go back into the slipstream of Cosi through Mackens Beckett's slipstream, turning into dirty air for the Alpine driver. Is he going to get a better exit? I think ah, Cosi got that one. Tame on that regard. And uh, Cosi getting a better run through there as Richie's well. Richie's coming around the Trying final couple of corners everything. now. Oh, Richie's got to spin across the line. Not... Yeah. Yeah, but he did. But it's Cosi. P9 and, and Cosi drives today. Yeah, he came from all the way. Well, not from all the way back, but from reasonably far back, I think. Made up some good positions, and here's Richie, happy as usual, to win in PPR Tier 1.